Hi Leo, this is going to be your reading for April 2018 for love. Let's get started straight away. So in all of the other readings, April has pointed towards a lot of, oh, hello, <laughs> a lot of growth. And of course it is the springtime, so it's not a surprise. Um, but in general, it's just pointed towards um, people, and it's, and it's so strange um, sort of seeing it all sort of very similar messages in all of the readings, but points towards maturity, mental, physical, and emotional growth. So that has been the main message that has come out in all of the readings. So let's see what we channel with yours. I do see some good strength here as well, if I am not mistaken, which I don't believe I am, <laughs> but um, first of all, I see really good potential with a person in your life. Your card. Strength. Okay. Just organizing everything. Okay, really good potential here. King and Queen of Swords. Very, very good match if there is somebody in your life right now that you feel a really good connection towards. I would be very hesitant to let that go because it seems like a very good match. Um, however, this particular person, and I feel like they embody the King of Swords energy, maybe a little bit blunt may not be very emotional in that sense because king of swords are known not to be very emotional and i feel like this is where you may be struggling so i feel like you are the person who is dealing with the person who is the king of swords and i feel like you are the queen of swords energy now remember there are no genders in tarot so what i'm essentially saying is that if you are someone if you're dealing with someone who's very blunt and just not emotionally open, that person is the energy of the King of Swords. And um, I see that very, very strongly here with the Emperor. The Emperor is not a very emotional person. Yes, they stand in their power, just as the King of Swords does, but not very emotional at all. Um, the King of Swords is a great communicator, though. So, there's that. Page of Wands um, you have here as well. So there is still communication with this particular person. As I said, very, very good at communicating. However, it's the emotional side of things, the showing the emotional side of things that is very difficult. You have here Temperance, which again is a fire energy. Temperance is about patience. And I feel very, very strongly that this person here, as I mentioned right in the beginning, I wouldn't want to let them go if I were you, and you will know if this reading resonates with you because you will feel it in your heart. But the reason I'm saying is that even if they are not very emotionally open, it will take them time and they will. So that's really what temperance is here to confirm, is that patience is a virtue, it will take them time to do so, but they will get there in the end. It will take you some strength, you know, this is really about embodying the Leo, the signature Leo trait of strength and having sheer willpower and just patience to support this particular person through this time because they for some reason are not very emotionally open and it will take them some time to get to that stage. Four of Swords is about not battling with that person, not arguing with that person or being really blunt to that particular person. It's more about being a little bit more diplomatic, resting, retreating, meditating, not getting angry at them whatsoever, having the strength to do that because they do need someone who is able to sort of understand that but they are going to get there by themselves no amount of you poking at them and wanting to get any form of emotion out of them is necessarily going to be the best thing to do this just requires patience i do however see that they're very good at communicating just not communicating emotionally so that is going to take time but that's something they're going to do on their own so really, that's the message that I wanted to get out to you. I do feel like there are a certain amount of Leos that needed to hear this particular message. So that is why I feel like I'm channeling it right now.
But yes, embody the strength card. This person has a lot of growth to do in that particular regard. And I feel like you do as well. You know, not being so emotionally reactive is perhaps one of the biggest sort of things for you right now to um, grow within as well. So yeah, again, growth has come through this reading as well. So um, yeah, Leo, that is your reading. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video. Let me know in the comment section below if it resonated and I will speak to you all very, very soon. Take care. Bye.